Hello YouTube, welcome back to Garage Noise. My name's Chris, and in today's episode, we're back on the Chevy paint restoration project. If you saw the last episode, we painted the roof and we painted the rear panel. Now we're gonna focus on finishing the prep work on the sides, both sides, the hood, and painting these panels and getting this job wrapped up. We've got a little bit of body work left here. We've got to straighten out, block out, and then we're gonna prep this out we primered the hood last time, so it's got a good coat of primer on and it's ready for a final sanding. And then this side is pretty much sanded and ready. There's just some areas we touched up with some primer. We're gonna smooth those out, but let's get started and get this thing painted. And if this is your first time here, thanks for watching. This channel is dedicated to you and teaching you step-by-step -step instruction on how to do paint and body repair. So join our community by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. So I'm gonna get started by sanding this with 320 grit sandpaper on the orbital sander and machine sanding this fender smooth. Okay, so now we've gone over this. This has all been sanded with 320 grit sandpaper. Now, it still needs to be gone over with 600 to remove those 320 grit scratches. But I want to address this, but I want to address this right here, which is a little bit of uh, poly putty or icing that we need to block out. We laid that in there because there's a little bit of a wave. So we're gonna block this out with 180 and then we'll prime this. Okay, so this is very exciting. We're getting ready to paint this truck. We're on the final sand. I'm going over this hood with 320 grit sandpaper on the orbital sander, and then we're gonna hit it with 600, remove those 320 scratches. This side is pretty much all ready. I went ahead and I painted the uh, door handles. I'm gonna tape those up. I've loosened this one up so I can get behind it. It's a real pain to get these loose. Um, and then I've cut in the blue on a few areas. I painted this rocker down here so I don't have to get low when I'm painting this entire thing. So I'm gonna tape that up. 
So yeah, it's coming along really nice. This side is also all ready, all 320. So we're gonna finish the hood. We're gonna pull this out, clean up the shop and wet down the floor and then we'll get it all taped up and ready for paint. So let's continue on with this hood. Okay, so as far as the rest of this truck's concerned, I think how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna, just gonna start masking it off and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it as I go along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off these edges, go around all the edges. I'm gonna do the door jams. So I'm gonna run a piece of masking paper, fold it over a piece of masking tape in the jams. I'm gonna do that first and then I'll get, come back to you and show you what we're gonna do next as far as the masking. Okay, so I'm gonna mask off this window. I've removed these windows to, in order to get inside the jam of that window. So in order to get a better job. So it's a little trick for open windows is what I do is I just, uh, I, board, I taped off the border and now I'm just creating an X. So the paper has something to stick against sometimes I might tape this down here like that so it doesn't peel up so it's not so it doesn't fluctuate it's it's gonna be a little bit firmer <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna run paper over this and tape it up with paper let me show you how I do that Okay, so I've got my masking machine here. Um, that's a machine that just has a roll of paper on it and it has a tape dispenser on it that dispenses it as you pull out on the paper. It lines the edge with tape, so it makes it easy. So I always like to get a, a good razor blade, a fresh razor blade, and I have that on hand. And what I'm gonna do is just Pull out a piece of paper. I'm just gonna eyeball it to see how, I'm just gonna eyeball it to the size of, that I need. And then I'm gonna line up at least one side and tape it down. And then I'm gonna go around and trim it with the razor blade. Okay, so just like that we have, now we're going to take our masking tape and we're going to tape down the edge and that's masked off. Okay, so we have this seam right here where I painted from here out. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape and what you want to do is to lay it in that seam. First, I'm going to start it like I normally do, start it right here and then I'm going to pull it tight and make sure it lays inside that gap. So as far as the wheel opening is concerned, remember we have a running bore that runs down the side of this and around this wheel opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a piece of paper at the bottom of this fender and then inside edge of this wheel opening and then so no overspray blows into that wheel opening, gets on the frame, on the engine or anything of that nature. Okay, so it's paint time. We're gonna spray this truck today. 
we've got it all taped up as you can see here it's all been sanded with 600 grit but first I'm gonna tack rag the entire vehicle off this is a tack rag here and we're just gonna wipe down the entire vehicle and remove any dust or lint or anything that might have landed on the truck and get it all clean and ready to spray now we are going to be using Valspar products today a Valspar paint and we're using the Valspar V series Euro clear a really good clear flows out great cuts and buffs very well and it's reasonably priced it's a high solids clear and as far as the equipment I'm going to be using is I am going to use the Astro Euro HE uh, spray gun it's a budget gun and if you haven't seen the video on that check it out in the link below it's a really good gun for the price and for uh, DIYers There it is after the first coat. It's just a just a base coat. First coat, I just want to get a good base on the whole thing. I'm going to go around all the areas that were missed. We're going to tack it off. And we'll continue on.
Okay, so the Bahama Blue base coat laid on very nicely. So I'm gonna put one more coat of base coat over the entire truck. But before I do that, I wanna go over it with the tack cloth, remove any dust or any particles or lint that might be on it. It's actually pretty clean, but I just wanna make sure it's gonna be clean before we start laying the clear coat on here. I'm also gonna go around with the light, look for any uh, transparent areas and make sure those are covered. And then we'll be ready for clear coat. I'm gonna turn on, kick on the heater in here just a little bit, get it up to temperature. You want it to be around 70 degrees when you're painting. Okay, it's tool time. This is the Astro Pneumatic Euro Pro HE. It's a budget-friendly gun. It runs right around $100. I think I paid like $106 for this. And I am really impressed with the way this sprays. It lays down base coat very nicely, has a huge fan pattern, and it's also really great for laying down clear. Now, it's not gonna atomize quite as efficiently as some of the really expensive guns, but it's also not you know five to eight hundred dollars i'm also going to be using this gun bud this is a light and this is going to help illuminate the area so i can see better so these are the two things we're going to use i'm going to put another base coat on this one more coat of base coat and then we're going to use this to clear it clean out the gun use it to clear so let's talk a little bit about how to adjust this gun i've turned the volume three turns open so you turn it all the way in and then three turns out. That's gonna give us a good amount of paint to spray or volume. And then the fan pattern on this is pretty much wide open. I had it backed off just a little bit there, but all the way forward is wide open and this has a huge spray pattern. So air pressure around 25 PSI. So let's get to spraying.
Okay, so here's the finished product. The Bahama Blue Chevy pickup turned out really nice. I'm still gonna wet sand and buff this or color sand this. I just pulled it out, get it out in the sun. I'm gonna let it dry up for a few days and then we're gonna get to wet sanding and buffing it. But it's got a nice finish, nice gloss. It's got just a few particles of dust we're gonna machine sand out or polish out, I mean. Very happy with the finished product. And listen up, if you wanna increase your knowledge and build your skill, join our community and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you next time.